Hello. Nice group of three-year-old Herefords. All heavy springers having black babies. Uh, Chaos are sired by Gardner Bulls. He's, obviously, they're the Herefords. They're all three-year-old second calvers. We are here in uh, in uh, Georgia. In Georgia, obviously, that little red mont. She's not a Hereford, and, and the black is not a Hereford as, as well. Having babies left and right, guys. These are all kind of seven, eight months bred, three-year-olds. Perfect size cash, aren't they? Mm. Again, they're having gardener babies. It's their second calf. Again, these girls are working, working kind of, working class cows because they already had the first calf. So now it's the uh, opportunity to reap the benefits of have buying this young cow. Again, they're having black babies. Sky's the limit. These kind of cows, guys. You know, a lot of people down south in my part of the world want to put Brahmin bulls back on females like these. You know, the F1 Brayfords. I mean, you know, she's hard to beat, especially in the, anywhere, you know, especially in the south. Again, there's several groups of these females on the same ranch. Uh, look at the little babies pop out. They're Cavanese little dudes. They're all gardener. Uh, I gardener bulls. And I see several calves laying down if you kind of having babies left and right to get all these girls are seven and eight months bred so another 60 days they should all be calved out and again we are in the Atlanta area you can probably see some cattle in the woods there they're having babies right now a nice working class herper team again Again, these girls are seven, eight months bred to having, they already have 80 something babies on the ground. It's a bunch in the woods have babies. We're outside of Atlanta, Georgia, guys. Atlanta, Georgia. This ranch, crazy thing, since May, the May 1 to now, they've had 60, yes, six zero inches of rain. Crazy, huh? These girls originated, uh, Kansas and South Dakota. Now they call Georgia home. They're fall calvers. They're all three-year-olds. They've all had one calf on the already hit the ground. They've had heifer calves they've already had. And I like these little look at these black bollies. I mean, so far I've seen probably 15, 20 of these calves, and they're all just 70-pound calves that hit the ground looking for a tit and on this video, you can't really appreciate. I've seen the shadows I can see. And look at all the little black baldies walking out the woods. Woo! And guys, you keep these calves. Yes, you sell steers out top of the market, obviously. These heifer calves, guys, you keep make out. Look at them. Mm -mm. Love a black baldy, guys. Love them, love them, love them. And then, obviously, I'm your home for gray Brahmins. I got your back. I live outside of Hudgens, USA. I'll hook you up with a fine Brahmin bull if you want to go the F1 route. So go the F1 route. I got your back. F1 break for that is. Obviously, these moms are kind of protected. They don't want to, don't want to come around a lot of people with your babies. Look at these little babies. They're, aren't they all cookie cutter peas in a pod? They're all the same size. They're all like just the same. Little old kind of 70 pound calves. Just. And this is her second calf. They've already had that first heifer calf. This, this is their three year old calf. Mm -mm. Again, these little cash, you keep them, sell the bull, steer cash, you top the market. I mean, hello, Gardner. They're, he, actually, I, I, I know the lineage of the, pedig the pedigrees of the bulls. So you put any kind of cash, you put it back on Spirit said they're Gardner, half Hereford, half Angus cash. I assure you, you will top Superior. Uh, there's 200 plus of these girls. A couple just red brockle faces, red baldies, but most of them are pure Herefords. <laughs> Again, the sky's limit on these girls. You can keep going how they're doing them. With, back with uh, 
with Angus bulls, you know what the black ball is going to be. But in the south, I, if you're going the south of them, the Brahmin bulls the way to go, guys. F1s out of these, whew, they'll make you a fortune. Again, they're three years old. The lifespan of these girls got lots of good years left in them. They're only three years old. Look at that effort. <coughs> that cow just cad last night. Got a baby beside her and already eating. <laughs> so the life cycle of these girls, you got lots of good years left in them. I mean, right now, bred F1 heifers around the house. I'm just me, not even these big fancy sales like Tom Johnson, South Texas Marketing, and them big players, but just, I'm getting 2,000 uh, an F1 just out of my pasture, a bred F1. So just imagine the return on your investment buying these cows. You know, three-year-olds, all of them three, they're all seven, eight months bred. They've already had 80 calves born the past week and a half, guys. The past week and a half, they've had 80 calves born and more popping out daily.